I see you've been in the wars. Oh, yeah. Slept on the red rag walking rover. <laughs> Have you heard anything from Norris lately? Oh, he phoned last week. He was going to uh, pick my brain, supposedly. Gossip, he meant about the Baileys and what have they done with number three? What's it like? Lovely, I said. It's like a little palace. And you left it a right dump, I said. <laughs> Did you? Well, serves him right. He's a nosy beggar. Well, I didn't hear from him. And then out of the blue, I get a text saying he's got something important to tell me. Peely? What? He wouldn't say. Oh. He wants me to go and see him. I don't want to traipse all the way over there just to find he wants me to prove his election speech. Well, maybe him and Frieda are going to tie the knot and they want you for the best man. Well, there'll be plenty of material for the speech. <laughs> but he'd be an insufferable groom, issuing orders right, left and centre. Or maybe he's ditched Frieda and swapped her for a younger model. It'll be summer to note. He'll have made an enemy of one of the residents, or he's going to take over the committee. Oh, he sounded quite chipper. Told me I should swing by and take a dip in the pool. Why don't you have a word with Mary? See if she knows anything, and then you'll know whether it's worth going over there. I'll do that. See if she knows what it's about. Anyway, Rita, it's been lovely seeing you. I'll report back. Take care, Ken. I was this close to walking out. Really? Polly from Florizel has left her card several times. Good sales staff are in demand. Oh, I'm sure Tracy values you. She'd be lost without you. I need a proper lunch break every day or else I get burnt out. Anyway, the, the reason I came, I had a couple of texts from Norris. Oh, aren't you the lucky one? Yeah, and he said he had something important to tell me. You, uh, you haven't heard anything from him, have you? hardly had a peep out of him, not since he was lured into that soulless, gated community by his betrothed. Frida's lovely. She's a control freak. Why else would he have dropped off the radar? And he's not the only one. It's like the Bermuda Triangle well, in that place. I'm sure they're very happy. I'm just worried that he's trying to get me involved in something I'd rather not be. Anyway, I thought you and him had parted on good terms. Putting on a brave face, <laughs> even though it was like losing a limb albeit an infuriating limb. I'm still grieving. I was the lone ranger to his tonto. So you, uh, you don't want to come with me and see what he wants? Not on your Nelly. I wasn't invited. And if he wants to speak to me, he can get in touch. <laughs>